the Philad. <clears throat> do we do we have to do this little preview before the video today? I, because I, I just I can't. I I just I I can't believe he said that. I I can't. Let's just roll the roll the theme and, and play the video. I, I mean, I, it's a he, he compared the team to a flower after a horrible a, a flower. Just the following announcement. Has been paid for by the ENN podcast. Right he has, a, to he it, has guys. a good energy. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Can you believe it? Sports. Can you feel it? Can you feel that excitement? The merchandise, wearing the hats. Chris Wilde here live from Lincoln Financial. And I'm telling you, if you let Eli Manning walk into that stadium, use it. Wow. Man, again, and I hate to do this again, but these are goose. Whoa! Shit. And more. What's his next book going to be called? Spineless? you know the results aren't there right now but what's going on here is is that there's growth under the soil i, I, I put a picture of a, a flower up right and that it's and it's coming through the ground and the roots are growing out and the roots and the roots are continuing to grow out and everybody wants to see results shoot we nobody wants to see results more than us right we want to see results too but it's really important that that the the foundation is being built and that the the roots are growing out and the only way the roots grow out every single day and they grow stronger and they grow they grow better is if that we all put our we all water we all fertilize we all do our part each each individual each individual coach each individual player each everybody in, in well, you heard it from the man himself nick seriani <laughs> i can't <laughs> so i uh, i look <laughs> this is stuff you can only laugh at this point. Uh, I'm professional wrestler Chris Wild live from bar 4133. Uh, hours before the Philadelphia Eagles go to take on the Detroit Lions in Detroit, the 0-7 Detroit Lions. And, of course, last week, uh, as you can tell from this channel here at ENN, I went off the deep side. But what, what is that right that we say? I went deep end? I was off the deep end? I was, I was out of my body. With how angry I was at the Eagles' loss to the Vegas Raiders. Jonathan Gannon is an absolute coward. Kids, put your earmuffs on because I'm going to say this right now. People at work, like Nicole, lower your volume because Jonathan Gannon is a pussy. He is an absolute pussy of a defensive coordinator because this guy, again, you're all game. You're watching this quarterback pick your team apart. Pick them apart. Um, that's where they. I'm pretty sure that's where they're playing now, Vegas. Um, but it was just to me unacceptable. More inept coaching, uh, more bad plays, bad, bad play calling. Miles Sanders gets hurt, gets put on the IR for three more weeks. Um, you know, the first drive was great. They went down, they scored, creative, ran the ball. Um, the next drive, uh, it was more of what we've been seeing: pass, 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 pass. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Not under center, and then Miles Sanders gets hurt, and they just completely go away from the run game. So you would think, you know, look, you just lost another game. You're now 2-5. and five. You're going to play a team that is 0-7. And, and you would think you want to fire up your team, right? You want to get them fired up. You, you want to get those that adrenaline going. You want to make these guys angry. Get these guys ready to play, ready to really rip into an 0-7 football team. But Nick Sirianni goes about it another way, and you just saw how he said, uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to remember this as best I can. Um, the results aren't there, but there's something growing underneath the roots. And he put up a picture of a flower. And eventually, you're going to grow into this flower. Um, now listen, man. Uh, on, on the real. like To me, it's it's hilarious. To everyone else, it's hilarious. This is uh, more of the legacy of Nick Sirianni and his speaking. We go to the rock, paper, scissors stuff. The dog mentality thing. Um, and now this, uh, you know, the whole flower, uh, flower gate, as I guess we can call it. Um, it's, but he's trying, I understand what he's trying to tell these guys. 
he's trying to keep a positive mindset. Look, guys, like the things aren't going the ways that we want them to, but we are. And he said he's building a foundation. I just don't know what foundation he's building. I, I don't see anything. I see guys like Jason Kelsey last game losing his shit. Like he doesn't normally lose his shit. That's how frustrated he is. Guys like Fletcher Cox, a team leader, speaking out against the defensive coordinator. I'm watching the most vanilla stuff I've ever seen. I don't know the foundation that these guys are putting out. I mean, when Nick Sirianni says in the beginning of the year, we're going to use our players to the best of their ability. And then you just see guys doing things that they're not good at. Jalen Hurts is not a pure passer. He's just not. He never will be. Does that mean he's not ever going to be a good quarterback? No. But he's just not that kind of guy. And that's the kind of guy that you want to make him. But it's not what he does the best. You know, it, it's a... Uh, it's frustrating, and then you see that, and of course the national media, they're, they, they're having a field day with this, um, as of course they should, um, and the whole city of Philadelphia, I mean, probably about 90% of the Eagle fans that I've talked to pretty much think the Eagles are going to lose to the Detroit Lions, and there's some reasons, I mean, the Lions, no matter what their record is, they always seem to play the Eagles really hard, um, and there's no reason why that you should think that the Eagles are going to win, now Vegas has them at a three, uh, three and a half point favorite going into the game, which really is more like six points, as the home team usually gets three, um, I don't see how you come to that conclusion, now, the Lions have been playing well the past couple weeks, just haven't won, um, where the Eagles have played like shit and haven't won, so, uh, I mean, I guess that's where you can think about it, at the same time this is a team that is 0-7 you know I've heard a lot this week about how Dan Campbell is one of those coaches that they play for and he's talking about biting off kneecaps um, but they haven't this team has not put up a win yet the Eagles do have two wins um, so uh, your guess is as good as mine with this guys I mean there's no need to go into stats or, or, or what the Lions do well or talk about Jared Goff um, against Jalen Hurts. I, I mean, it's just no, there's no reason for that. I can tell you that with Miles Sanders going on the IR, Jordan Howard is finally brought up to the main roster, which I thought he was going to be in the beginning of the season because they barely played him in preseason and he looked great in practice, but he doesn't even sniff the field until now. We'll probably see a lot of Kenny Gainwell and Boston Scott. Kevon Wallace is back after an injury and old Dick Rod. Dick Rod is back and look, Dick Rod, look, I'll tell you something about Richard Rodgers. Whenever he's on this team, the guy makes plays. He just does. He's not a guy that drops the football. Um, he's not a guy that uh, comes out there as a complete turd. Um, so I think Dick Rod's going to eat um, tomorrow as well as Dad Dallas Goddard. And I'm really interested on in seeing how Nick Sirianni comes out. I mean, how can you can you continue to do the same things? Because last week I told myself they're going to come out different. They did for a drive, and then they went back. Can they just stay with being – just stay with not being vanilla. And Jonathan Gannon, for... I swear, if, if you come out and you do the same crap and the Lions throw up 30 or 40 points on you, I, I mean, Derek Carr had the uh, best completion rating of a, of a quarterback in a game, like the third best of all time is something like a stat like that. Um, this is just, it's getting embarrassing. And it's to the point where... If I'm the Eagles and this Jonathan Gannon puts another thing out like this, man, he's gone. I know what you're saying. Who are you going to put in there? It's got to be somebody on the staff. I don't care at this point. But this is just unacceptable. Um, and I'm telling you this. Uh, if the Eagles lose to – and Deuce Staley's a coach over there in Detroit. But if the Eagles lose to the 0-7 Detroit Lions uh, in any manner, the city's going to explode. And Jeffrey Lurie and, – and, I'm not going to say Howie Roseman because he might be part of the action that's being forced. Jeffrey Lurie is going to have to do something. He's going to sit here and continue to watch his team. Just you want to be, Do you want to be the Browns? Do you want to be the Lions? Do you want to be um, the Bengals? Do you want to be the, these teams that just cannot win, that they're just always there, the Jets? Do you want to be one of those teams or do you want to be a team like the Packers? Do you want to be a team like the Niners? Do you, do you want to be one of those teams, the Seahawks, the, the Rams, that they're just always in the mix at some point? Because you're on the, you're on the line right now. And uh, your next couple moves and next year's draft is a huge one. Do you really want this guy, Howie Roseman, picking these draft picks? Who, I mean, you look at a guy like Jalen Rager, his sophomore year is worse than his rookie year so far. He's been absolutely terrible. Um, you know, Devontae Smith, uh, is. I think he's going to be awesome. I think he's done some really good stuff. But you look at some of the other rookie wide receivers, and yes, they have better quarterback play and better coaches. I get that. But you just want more from your your 10th uh, round pick. And, and, you know, it's just it's just not there yet. Um, do I think it'll be there? Yeah, I don't think we have anything to worry about with Devontae Smith, but you understand what I'm saying. These, these next things are very important. And do you really want a guy that's talking about growing flowers before pretty much a must-win game when his ass is on the line? Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. But we'll see uh, tomorrow as, and actually it's just hours away, um, Lions and Eagles. I, I can't predict the Eagles to win anymore. I can't until I see something different. So I'm going to say the Eagles lose this game. Because I can't sit here and lie to you and say, yeah, the Eagles are going to win. They're better than the 0-7 Lions. The Lions are 0-7 for a reason. I, look, I don't watch Lion football games, okay? I see the highlights like everybody else does. And I saw that they played pretty decent against the Rams. I watch every snap of every Eagles game. There's nothing in my mind after watching that Raiders game that makes me think that they can beat a team right now. They've got to prove it. they got to show me. they got to go out and they got to do it. That's where I'm at with this football team. Um, whether, you know, if they win the, look, if they win the, the next three or four games, I, I will hand deliver uh, a better roses for Nick Sirianni. But until then, uh, uh, and yes, that was a flower joke. I, I'm not even predicting this team to win. And I'm an Eagles fan. I'm an Eagles fan, guys. But I can't sit here and lie to you. With that being said, guys, everybody, you know what? Let's just enjoy it. Let's just find something to enjoy in the game. Look at some of these young guys. Um, you know, if Jalen Hurts does not perform well, does Gardner Minshew come in? That's a storyline. How will Nick Sirianni look with another quarterback? That's something to look forward to. Or does this team just happen to just click uh, as they have a, a slew of teams that aren't as good as the slew of teams that they just faced? And I know a lot of Raiders fans gave me shit last week um, because I was I was angry and I said a lot of a lot of things about the Raiders. Um, look, your team is five and two. That is a good record. You're a good football team. Um, I can't take that away from you, no matter what I said last week. Uh, so with that being said, guys, let's hope this week's a better week. That's all we can do. Move forward. Stay positive. Everybody, stay safe. Stay healthy. If you are watching, you have not subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button. Uh, definitely helps the channel. Support the channel. Support the paper or the uh, cash app as well as all the money that goes that's supported and donated to this channel goes into making the channel a little bit better, um, whether it's equipment or merchandise that could be coming in the near weeks. Guys, let's get one. Let's get a W. Um, go, Birds. I'll see you later. Eagle Nation, the